hi guys welcome back to the channel so this is another part of the makeup i did so this is the skin part so starting off with a foundation shade this foundation this foundation is really sinking into the skin and you guys this is a high-end foundation so i used foundation from nars i used foundation from dior to get the actual skin shade I used them um, Nas in um in what's the name of this shade though? I've forgotten the shade. Uh, so I went in and blended that and I pushed the foundation into the skin. Next up I'm contouring our skin with a darker shade of foundation. This is Dior in the shade 6N. So I'm using this to like contour our skin shade. So when you want to contour the, the face, you to give it lifts like a higher illusion you have to like move it up then i contoured the chin that's the side of a chin next up i went in with my blush this is a liquid blush from there's a there's a brand that gave me pr packages i've forgotten their name it's like it's a i've forgotten the name of the brand that's so wrong so look at how the skin is skinning already and look at this face you see that there is foundation there's contour and there is blush so let's get into highlighting the skin i'm using this um concealer from too faced to bond this way concealer in the shade golden beige so that's the shade i'm using to highlight a skin so i highlighted a chain a cupid's bow area the bridge of her nose a forehead and underneath her eyes next up i'm contouring her nose with that same foundation shade that i used for uh contour so this is dior in the shade 6n so i'm just going in to structure so when you want to structure the nose you start from the beginning of our brows and give like a y illusion next up i'm just i cleaned the brush and i went in to blend so to set the highlighted area so i'm using this powder from mira cosmetics in the shade ginger before you go in to set the highlighted areas especially underneath the eyes you make sure you blend out to ease out the creases underneath the eyes then you go in little by little with a setting powder you don't want that under eyes to be cakey or to be too heavy so you have to go in lightly to set that then to set the rest of our face i'm using this other beauty powder in the shade kunafa for a full face so that is what i'm using to set all over the face this other beauty powder in the shade kunafa you guys like i told you i'm using eye ends to deal you know all the products i'm using is high end the brushes i'm using from mira cosmetics so let's get into this so you want to set all over the face make sure powder touches everywhere because if you don't do that the face is going to get oily then to contour a cheekbone area i'm using this mira um contour and highlight palettes that shade there that's what i'm using to like contour the face now for a light skin person you don't need to go in with too too dark um shades because it's going to leave ash lines and for a, for a light person and when you make a mistake it's going to remain there because you cannot correct it next up i went in with my blush this blush is very pigmented you guys so you have to go in lightly when you, when you um take it out from the from the palette you have to like diffuse it a little bit before you go to the face with it so you know for that set underneath my eyes underneath the eyes i went in with this charlotte tubri powder in the shade zero two for that bright under eye effect and to give the under eye a snatched look so that is what i am doing currently with my beauty sponge I, i'm just going to push that powder in to make the highlighted areas you know pop then to further push that in, I went on this under eye brush to like push the powder in because you guys in 2024 you don't want cakey under eyes, so you have to like push the products into the eyes. If I said uh, eyes, <laughs> sorry guys, today I'm just happy. That's why I'm just you know giving you guys this voiceover. Then to structure a nose, I'm using this Mac powder in the shade. Um, dark yes usually dark for the nose contour then i went on to bake the face with certain powder i used mirror cosmetics and this is the final look you guys i did eyeshadow 
tutorial so if you've not seen that tutorial if you are seeing this one first there's an eyeshadow tutorial on this look this particular eyeshadow tutorial is on my channel go and watch how i created it and see how we did this baby and this is the lip tutorial i did and we've come to the end of this look for skin prep i did real um, it's on youtube as well so it's on shots on youtube check my channel as well and that is it i'm going to do a brow tutorial this is the final look you guys if you watch till this point leave a like leave a comment share and subscribe to my channel if you've not seen my next video you guys if you want a brow tutorial let me know in the comment section bye guys